I was sent the book in 2007 uh, while I was still in galley form, uh, read it immediately, literally in one sitting, uh, could not wait to be part of it. Uh, Leo DiCaprio optioned the book, uh, took it to Marty. Marty said yes, and we were basically off to the races. That was back in 2007. It was just an incredible ride. I mean, it was just such a roller coaster ride, ride of insanity, and, and I just couldn't believe that this guy actually was real, uh, that anybody had such a life like this, and just, it was just, and lived to tell about it. It's also, you know, for me, uh, Jordan and I are roughly the same age. We grew up in the same area. I worked on Wall Street. There were a lot of similarities, you know, that I, I sort of recognized in him and, and in my own background, and I just sort of felt like I understood him. And it was just hilarious, funny, horrific, and all those things, and just everything a screenwriter could ask for. I think it was all, all there, and it cer certainly became uh, much more evident once you see it acted out. You know, for example, the Quaalude overdose scene, it was very hilarious on the page. Even when I saw it actually acted out, I couldn't imagine that, oh yeah, when this thing comes to life, this is what it looks like, and it became a hundred times funnier. Well, it's a massive story. I mean, if we were to film the actual book, it would be an 18-hour movie. It was just huge. I mean, just huge in scope and a lot of uh, a lot of different characters that had to be combined into, you know, I'd combine three characters into one character, for example, or, you know, truncate a timeline, things like that. And, you know, it was just really getting my arms around the whole story to tell it in a, you know, pretty relatively concise beginning, middle, and end, the rise and fall of Jordan Belfort. As a writer, my favorite scenes are the big speeches that Jordan gives. You know, to, it was, that was really fun to write and just sort of put myself in, uh, in Jordan's head and distilled through Leo's voice. So those were really great, you know, writing uh, moments for me to sit and really craft those speeches. And then to see what Leo did with them were just incredible. He just takes those to a different level. Also, you know, the, the Quaalude overdose scene, which I think a lot of people are going to point to as, you know, some of the most fun minutes you've ever spent in a theater watching those two guys together. Uh, just go down the rabbit hole of, uh, of insanity is just pr pretty spectacular. I mean, it was fun to write, and like I said, when I saw what that actually looked like, I just couldn't believe it.